Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you, and welcome to another Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order news update video of mine. And in this video, I've got three pieces of information to share with you today, including leaked Black Series figures for Jedi Fallen Order. The fact the game will not be playable at EA Play, which is a huge disappointment. And I've also found something on the Jedi Fallen Order website that no one else has just yet. But let's get started with the EA Play information because it's going to be a big talking point, I think. So the EA Play tickets, which are free if you want to go, were released yesterday. Go get them before they sell out. And the EA Play app, which is the first time they've ever done something like this, also got released. And it gave us some information on what we can expect from the event. So on the Jedi Fall Order page, there's a description and it says this will be a theatre experience and not a hands-on gameplay demo. Which is really disappointing considering in past EA Plays, we've had the Battlefront games literally playable. 40 player matches you can play for a long time. And I'd assume this theatre experience is where attendees will get to see exclusive gameplay, different to what will be shown on the live streams or the EA Star Wars YouTube channel. However, that is not all. The EA Tickets blog post says, We'll also have an exciting Star Wars experience that will include an inside look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So it might be more than just gameplay. They did say theatre experience, so I really don't know what this could mean. But I, for one, am excited to go to this event to see what the Jedi Fallen Order stuff is happening. And if you can't make the event, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on what exactly goes off. Moving on to the next news story, and this is about the upcoming figures for Jedi Fallen Order. So Yak Face forums have a credible leak list of basically almost every single upcoming figure for Star Wars toys over the next year or so, including Episode 9 figures, The Mandalorian Show, and Jedi Fallen Order. Right now, there are currently two 6-inch Black Series Fallen Order figures releasing in Wave 22 between September and November. These will most likely launch on and after Triple Force Friday, which is October 4th. The figures are Cal and someone called Trilla. And this is a character we've not heard of before, so it could be the codename for Ceres, the female Jedi Knight who works as Cal's mentor, but I have a good feeling it's going to be a new character. That seems like the most likely option, otherwise the codename probably would have been changed by now. We also have another Black Series figure coming in November on the day of release, most likely as a GameStop exclusive. We already know that the GameStop exclusive Black Series bundle includes a Black Series figure, so I'd assume this is going to be that one. According to the leaks, it is going to be a Purge Trooper, but they're not entirely sure if it is an Inquisitor or a Purge Trooper. I'd assume it's going to be the Purge Trooper, the Inquisitor will just be the codename for it. And the Purge Trooper seemed to be a selling point, and a marketing push point for this game, so I would assume it's going to be that figure in the GameStop exclusive bundle. Now let's talk about a possible newsletter sign-up in-game bonus. So I was just, you know, browsing the Jedi Fallen Order website, and I noticed something. There is no in-game redeemable thing for signing up to the newsletter like basically every EA game. For example, with Battlefront 2, you got an exclusive emote. Same goes for the first Battlefront game. Anthem had one. Pretty much every single EA game has some sort of cosmetic item that you can get if you sign up to the email newsletter. But Jedi Fallen Order didn't have that. So I did some digging around the source code and I actually found that it does state there will be a bonus for signing up, but it's not visible on the front end of the website. So it does refer to a Fallen Order in-game item. And if you search using Google Jedi Folly and hashtag, the text of the source code will show up in the search results too. Either it's hidden for some reason or they've decided not to do it for Fallen Order, which I would be very surprised about. Or it could be introduced later down in the line. Maybe at EA Play they'll announce that, oh, you get this item. They just haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I thought those three things would be interesting to share, so uh, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on everything I've discussed in this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new around here to stay up to date for more Battlefront and Jedi Fallen Order news updates. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.